A new game arose in the year 2007. The life and blood of Pumpkin's music system, Rock Band. A few hundred thousand of them just like keep playing, like week after week, month after month. They just keep showing up, playing the game. And God, I love these guys. And uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to some of the longtime regulars on the Rock Band forums who just uh, were just still right there with us. And thank, thank you guys. We are the Rock Band community. This is our story. So, hey everybody, today we have with us Alex Rigopoulos, the CEO and co founder of Harmonics Music Systems, and Eric Pope, who is currently a project manager for Rock Band 4. So, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, it's our pleasure. Product manager. Yep. There's a slight difference that's too boring to get into. Yep. Um, would you be, maybe, Alex, be able to tell us how the company got started? Wow, that's a long story. It was a long time ago, actually, because uh, next within the next couple of weeks, we actually turned 20 years old. So it's been quite a long ride at this point. But um, we started back in 1995, and uh, actually, interestingly, at that point, we weren't thinking about video games at all. We didn't think of ourselves as a, as a game studio at that point. Um, it, rather, we were thinking about a problem that we wanted to solve in the world related to music, which is that basically everyone loves music and everyone tries at some point in their lives to learn how to play an instrument, and then almost all of those people quit after a few weeks or a few months or whatever just because it's so damned difficult uh, to, to learn to play music, to have a joyful experience on a conventional musical instrument. And so, uh, and then this is a great shame because everyone then spends the rest of their lives, you know, like playing air guitar and loving music, but yeah. not having a way to tap into this innate urge that they have to play music. And so we basically started the company to invent new ways for people who are not musicians to have access to what it feels like to play music. Um, and so, you know, for the first three or four years of our existence, we were doing like interactive music projects that were not video games. And it wasn't actually until the first video games appeared in Japan around 96, 97, that we started thinking seriously about how to merge. Uh, interactive music with, with games. Hi everyone, my name is Justin and I'm 15 years old. I started playing rock band at, at the age of 8 or 9 years old. So uh, I have an experience of about 7 years old on rock band. So, rock band. It's helped me a lot to learn uh, real, real guitar because I'm a musician and I've. It's about my five years of real guitar and it's rock band that pushed me into the musical studio so let's play hi everyone my name is Rosalie rock band played a pretty significant um, part of my life. I think it was at a time my go-to, my safety point, my outlet. Something that actually got rid of the stress for a minute. Um, so I can, you know, kind of just relax, buckle down. When I came home from work, if I had a bad day, it always brought me up. Um, not only that, uh, you get to test your skills. You get to learn things. You get to learn new instruments. Or who would have thunk I would be able to play drums? I'm not say I'm good, but I can get the foot and hand coordination down together to make any type of rhythm or beat. That amazes me still to this day. You have to be able to focus in order to hit those notes that are coming at you. No, kidding. Sometimes faster than other times, but um. You get to learn how to play new instruments, pro guitar, the real guitar, um, even though it's a little hard and frustrating. Pro keys, drums, it's great. The pool of talent that you have in this community is extremely good. Some of them should be playing, trying out for bands. Um, some of them do, some of them are from bands. So uh, you meet some great people all around the world, um, great people to play with, some people will be in my life forever. And, you know, that's the friendship bond that you have. And thank you. So thank you, Harmonix, for coming.
coming out with um, a game that really, at some times in my life, played a big, significant role. Hi, my name's Jamie, and I'm known for my rock band channel, Jamie the Pain Rhythm. Now, although my channel is mainly focused on one-man band videos, the most important aspect of rock band for me is friendship, and it's just about having a good time playing with other people. And the reason this is, is because the first time I experienced a music game was Harmonix's Guitar Hero 2 on the PS2, and it was around my friend's house, and he showed me how great this game was. I jumped right onto Medium and had so much fun playing this. Now when I first got the original rock band, uh, I always played with my friends a ton. They always came around and played it, and we'd even put all our in my instruments in bags, take it around my friend's house, just so we could play rock band. We'd have to lug this stuff around all the time. It was a bit embarrassing, but hey, you do, we'd do anything for that game. It was so much fun. I joined a team, it's Team Rapture, and I've made so many good friends on that, so I still have a great time playing online with people, even today. challenges that the company face and actually having to sort of create a brand new musical game once Activision had taken over Guitar Hero? Well boy there were a lot of challenges I mean first of all like you know Activision's a very capable publisher and like suddenly we were competing with our former creation you know against an extremely capable publisher um, but then even setting that aside just the challenge of building Rock Band I mean it was crazy like First of all, like we need to we need to make a great guitar game, but we also needed to make a great singing game, and we needed to make a great drumming game, and we needed to make a great multiplayer game where all those things fit together. Plus this whole character system, plus network gameplay, plus we had never made hardware before. We had never made a single peripheral uh, Red Octane even that before, so we had to learn how to make hardware. We had to do all of this like in a year, and we weren't just making a little bit of it. We were making like millions and millions of units of it, and so that year, I, like people who were on that team. Like it felt like we aged ten years in the year and a half, you know, that we spent get ready, getting ready to, to uh, build Rock Band and or, or, or building Rock Band. And the funny thing was, like, even as, as guitar as successful as Guitar Hero had been at that point, you know, on the eve of launching Rock Band, we really didn't know if it was going to be successful. I mean, we knew that we loved the game. It was priced at a, a, like $170 US. It was a giant box. It was going to be hard to get into retail distribution. Like, we just didn't know if we could convince millions of people to spend 170 bucks on a video game that, like, you know, three or four people would have to play. It was like, it was kind of, it was a bit of a Hail Mary pass, and so we were quite nervous, but, you know, thankfully, you know, people showed up to, to, to play the game, and the rest is history. Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy José Ávila desde el hermosísimo puerto de Veracruz, México. Hace cinco años conocí el rock band, y desde entonces ha sido toda una experiencia para mí. A través del juego he hecho nuevas amistades y reencontrado con viejos amigos, los cuales en este momento son parte importante en mi vida. Cada semana reímos, convivimos, cantamos y disfrutamos mucho del juego y siempre vemos la manera de renovarlo con variedad de canciones. Todos y cada uno de mis amigos, muy a su particular manera, le ponen su toque, pasando así gratos e inolvidables momentos. Sabes cómo te he soñado Si tú supieras que me muero Por tu amor y por tus labios Gracias a Argonex por tan genial juego, ha sido una experiencia todos estos años. Y gracias también a Rock Band Session. Hasta luego, bye. Hi, I'm Wanda What's Up, or Jody. I'm, um, I'm a rock band player, vocalist on Xbox and PlayStation. I uh, have been playing for seven years and love the game. I don't plan on quitting. DLC is important and always has been, but um, playing full band, I think, is the way the game's supposed to be played. It's always been um, my preferred method because of the interaction that I have with my friends and the other players. The game has been a lifesaver in that it has enabled me to, um, I guess, live out my my alter ego's lifestyle. Um, 
I wanted to I wanted to be a a singer uh, rock and roll in a rock and roll band when I was younger. So I decided to do the college thing, and I um, I never got to I guess live out that that life. And the game has helped me to realize that lifestyle to a certain extent um, through my videos on YouTube. Um, the friends that I've made, I still have to this day. We get together periodically. People fly to my house here um, from other states and we all play. It's a great time. Um, I, I don't think that I would have gotten that interaction had I been playing another game. Hi everybody, I am Brand TD9192, also known as Brand Drama or Brand TD Caminati on YouTube. And I'm from Italy, so I am really sorry for my bad speaking. I've been playing rock band drums and real drums since the early 2009, and I still enjoy playing it a lot. Everything started with a friend who broke his uh, rock band one game and every instrument to my home in 2009, and I immediately loved it, playing uh, and eating those uh, rectangular notes on the screen. And after completing the game uh, on every difficulty, I went to the store and uh, I got Rock Band 2, ACDC, Green Day, and every guitar I uh, managed to manage to find. And then Rock Band 3. Then I started being competitive. And I bought a very expensive drum kit from America called Iron Drum Rocker. And I spent a lot for that, so that it, but uh, I just loved it, and it was impossible to find here in Italy. They just don't, don't sell it here. The day when it arrived to my home, uh, it, pro it was probably one of the best days of my life, until now. In my actual career, I've got a lot of FCs on our songs. The best ones are probably still uh, My Humanity's Last Hope by Massive Slavery. FCs, but also Berserker, Unfurling at a, a Dark Knight Gospel, and recently a lot of uh, Double Bass songs. I really love Double Bass, <laughs> yeah. I used to play it online, but uh, I've never been really that active on that kind of playing. I've been a member of Team uh, The Plastic Experience for a short period of time, also. I still play online sometimes, but more often with friends who come here at my house. Last year I also met Brandon, also known as Brandspeed, a crazy drummer who wanted to come here and play some drums with, some drums with me. That's one of the best things this game ever gave to me, the possibility to meet other people who love this game. Last August I started uh, making custom songs and actually I'm still spending a lot of time making them especially on the weekend. Thanks everyone for following me and my YouTube channel after all these years. I am really thankful for you to you guys. Is there any particular instrument that you favor when playing rock band? Either Alex or Eric? Well, I'm, I'm a sort of hacked drummer in real life, so I really like to play drums in rock band also. What about you, Aaron? You do pretty well on expert drums, by the way. Like, I like the drums. I, I won't comment on whether you're a hack in real life, but in rock band, he's really good at drums. Yeah. Uh, I play guitar myself. I, I, I can, I'm one of those players I can play guitar in expert, uh, but when it comes time to do a solo, I just... It's awful. It's a, it's a, it's a nightmare. But I, I, I love playing an expert anyway, especially with the rhythm stuff. Um, so that, that's where my sweet spot is. It also depends on whether I'm drunk or sober. Oh, if, yeah. I'm, if I'm sober, I like to play drums because I'm like super focused. Yeah. Once I've had a few drinks, like then, <laughs> then I like to be on the guitar. Yeah, maybe the, the whole coordination thing. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> is there any um, particular bands or songs within the game that you favor? 
enjoy the play more than other ones. God, it's, it's hard to pick one. I mean, I've, I've literally bought about 900 songs in the game, um, just because the thing that I love most actually is just the variety, like being able to have like, a huge collection of stuff that, I mean, you know how it is, it's like different music suits your mood. Like some nights you're like psyched, you're just in like party mode, sometimes you're more intense, sometimes maybe you're downer and you want like some music that resonates with that. So for me, the big, the thing that I like most is having a big collection of music where I can like go to what suits my mood. Yeah. So, would you... playing, the, playing the Who on drums is really fun, just because you know Keith Moon was like an alien. Like he just had a way of playing the drums that was all his own, and it's like super challenging, but like really fun to play drums as well. Yeah. So for me, for me, I I I have like everybody at Harmonics, I have a, a ton of favorites and very strong musical opinions. And the the nice thing of over the years is basically everyone who has a favorite band pretty much has seen them show up in the rock band catalog. So when I first started working here, I was like, oh man, Radio Radio by Elvis Costello was such a great song. But I didn't expect it to happen for whatever reason. I was like, ah, no one's gonna listen to me. And whether they listen to me or not, we got it in the game and it's awesome. Yeah. So that's usually my go-to. That's like one of my favorite songs, period. That and uh, Under Pressure by Queen Oh, that, that's one of the great yeah. songs. Yeah. Ever. I love that one, yeah. Um, the other thing too is, you know, we just did this, for Rock Band 4, we just did this uh, song poll, music poll for our fans. We got how many responses to that? It was amazing. Yeah. 70,000. Yeah, so like within the first couple of days, we got like 70,000 song requests from fans for Rock Band 4, which were actually, many of those were actually now in our licensing process yeah. right now. And stuff. It's been really cool to yeah, watch we're the fans. Well, well over 100,000. Yep. We'll have strong opinions about music, it turns out. Yes. Hey there, my name's Mark, and I am a, a long-term rock band fan. Uh, really started back with Guitar Hero 2 when that came out. Got a feel for trying to play along with some music on that particular thing, but it was really when Rock Band came out, about a year or so there later, maybe two years later, um, that we really started getting into it. And, you know, uh, from my perspective, it's all about the vocal side of things. Um, having had a, a long commute for 15 years, about an hour long each way, you spend a whole lot of time, you know, singing in the car, as you can imagine. A lot of different music and a lot of time doing it. So when Rock Band came out, I was like, "Ooh, fantastic! I can actually do some singing." Um, and the greatest part about it is that it's not just by myself. I can bring some friends along and a number of other guys uh, in the area. Also enjoyed the game, played it with their families and whatnot, so uh, we ended up starting a band. Um, that band uh, is something that uh, we get made fun of a lot for being nerds that play in a band, but uh, we enjoy it. We call it Grendel, and uh, we ended up making our own t-shirts and uh, doing an occasional performance for family and friends, and then uh, I think once or twice we uh, took it on the road out to, a, I think, a local bar we did at one point. I know I worked, we did a a cruise ship uh, played it, uh, a cruise ship at one point as well, um, but Grendel is known to show up at certain parties um, for the right price, um, where he's please. Hi, I'm Gaiden9210. Rock Band has given me countless amount of entertainment hours and uh, shown me a uh, world of music and uh, songs that I probably would have never found if it wasn't for the game. Rock Band has really awoken my love for music and showed me that, that I, I really want to spend a lot of time with music and that had uh, inspired me to uh, pursue a, a life in the uh, in the field of music, so I'm really uh, trying to get a life in music, and rock band has definitely helped me a lot in making that decision. So thank you so much, Harmonix, for making awesome games, for uh, 
showing me the amount of music that you've put out through the games and just making an awesome platform to meet people. Uh, rock band has been uh, in the part of my life and it will continue to be so. Thank you very, very much. Hello everyone, it's Melody. I enjoy playing with everybody, um, pretending like I am a rock star when I'm really not. Um, I love playing the drums and it's a great way for people who live in apartments and don't have big houses um, get to feel like they can have band practice all the time. I've met some great people and I can't wait to see what the future has in store and will definitely be looking forward to Rock Band 4. Um, would you be able to maybe tell us a bit about how the company goes by getting licensing for the songs and getting certain bands in the game? Yeah, it's, it's very, um, uh, it, it's, it, it's approached on a, very much on an like, artist by artist basis. So, you know, first, the team fights a lot about which songs should be in the game. Like, everyone out here has very strong opinions about which songs we want, you know. So we generate a bunch of our own internal lists. We're thinking about... You know, just music that we think is awesome, songs that will play really well, songs that are popular, of course, all that stuff. So we form our own list, but then there are all these external sources, such as the survey that we just did and various other, you know, um, sources for, you know, gauging what we think people will want to play in the game. So once we have the lit lists, then we basically approach um, the parties that are involved. And it's actually multiple parties for any individual song. So for any particular song, there is, of course, the recording artist themselves. Um, and the artist management, also the label, which uh, usually owns the recording itself, and also the music publisher, which administers the rights to the composition that the recording is based on. So usually between like, there's like, you know, at a minimum, there's the artist, their management, the label, and the publisher. But then often there are multiple writers or the band is broken up, so the artist is actually a group of multiple artists with multiple managers, and so there can be a cluster of like you know a dozen different people involved in any with any particular song. Sometimes it's much more streamlined and, and easier, but often it's a complicated dance with every individual song. There's a kind of courtship process. At the same time, some artists it's easy. They know the game. They have played it. They love it. They're like, yeah, of course I want to be rock. And yes, here is your approval. In some cases, you have artists who are like in video games. I, I've heard about them. Like, what is this thing? They, you know, there's like a whole education process. So again, it's pretty. Highly tailored on a song by song basis, like how much effort, what sort of effort is required to get a song. Yeah, um, and on that point, um, you said there's been a bit of difficulty getting Pink Floyd in the game, I believe. Is is yeah. that something that's um, a bit of a goal to try and get into Rock Band 4 or some DLC in the future? Oh yeah, so I mean, look, I, I was like a, a Pink Floyd super fan in high school. I actually played in a Pink Floyd cover band for a year and a half. What were you called? Oh, well, we had, we had like three different names. It's a sad story. Anyway, um, so, uh, so yes, I would love to have some Pink Floyd in the game. And yes, of course, you know, we'll be trying with Rocket Four and DLC, and, and we have tried for years in the past. And, you know, that's a case where that band, that's a band that broke up back to the early had a rift, you know, years ago, so it's, it's complicated, you know, there are multiple people involved, multiple, you know, needs and perspectives, and so that's one of these things where it's you know, considered a long-term project. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ed, and I've been playing guitar for a long time. I've been playing rock band for several years with my friends in my friend's garage, and it's a lot of fun. At first, I was unable to really play but with enough time, I was able to read these expert charts for the pro guitar. I'm using the Squire guitar by Fender Guitar Company, made especially to work with Rock Band for a couple years. And once I was able to read these charts, you know, I kept at it, and I, 
I was able to begin reading them as they scrolled, and that's when the fun really began. Um, it's really fun to play with others locally or even online, you know, um, because that's what playing live is pretty much all about, it's with others. This is a simulation, but it's a pretty great simulation. And um, let's rock out. Not precisely, but mainly I started playing Guitar Hero with the uh, controller when, when I had to disc to This game has lots of cool DLCs, fun to play, even play them online where I met awesome people, even skilled persons. I tried playing the guitar and the bass, but even vocals. Um, even I tried to get good on drums, but I really suck. Another thing, I said, another thing I said, I just want to say, I'm really happy here from Rock Band 4. Rock Band 4 will be an awesome game as every Rock Band fan awaits and I can wait to see some people playing it. And even hope to be playing that game. Hopefully, if I get Rock Band 4 on oh, PS4, it will be cool to learn pro guitar, pro bass, and even for keyboards because they are real fun instruments to play. I consider a fan of my speed of games, even Guitar Hero and Rock Band, and I got set for Rock Band Force, I say that about the game, and it's cool because you don't have to spend most of the money buying new instruments and just using your actual instruments on the PS3. Oh man, I've been playing this game since 2007. It first came out, was instantly hooked. Um, as you can see, I'm a drummer. Got my little rock band drummer shirt. Man, where do I start about this awesome game? So many memories, so many years of playing. So many bands that I uh, discovered because of rock band. Actually, my favorite band, Queen of the Stone Age, I discovered it through rock band. Vin Severfold. Rock band, Muse, rock band, and the list can just go on and on and on. I'm not going to bore you guys with that stuff. My little nephew, he's been playing drums since two. Uh, he's pretty good on real drums now. I don't have no video of him because he's in California and I'm in New Jersey now, but he got pretty good playing uh, drums. Oh man, we used to have so many rock band parties at my house. Everybody used to fight over the drums, but hey, my drums, my house, my rules. I was the drummer of the band. Um, the name of my band was the Three Rings of Death. I love rock band. Thank you, Harmonix, for making the greatest game of all time. Uh, just waiting for Rock Band 4. Um, so, you're both pretty big Beatles fans, I believe. Yeah. So, would yeah. you maybe be able to tell us what was going through people's minds uh, when the company actually decided to make the rock band Beatles. Well, that, I mean, that was like a dream project for many of us because, you know, a lot of us had just like idolized FBM since we were kids, right? And so the idea of actually being able to 
like do a creative collaboration with the Beatles is like you know, stuff doesn't even seem like within the realm of possibility, right? So when that when all that was a, again a very long courtship process because of many many different parties involved, um, but when the pieces all finally came together, that was like you know I made practically had tears in my eyes the day that we sort of like inked the you know all the agreements to set that in motion, and then the actual process itself of collaborating collaborating with all of them was, was amazing actually it was like they were really all approached the project with open minds and full hearts and like really collaborated with us to make something that we were, we were very proud of and in the end like that game was basically like a love letter to the band and we're very proud of it to this day yep. and yeah it was a to get to work to get to work on that in any capacity like it's part of my job i get to actually spend two days inside abbey road studios with some uh, writers. That was unbelievable. I mean, we, we would actually play the game in Studio 2, and in the game, as you remember, like the loading screens, they would have studio chatter. And so we would be in the actual studio where that chatter was originally recorded 40 years in the past, playing it back in the studio with the echoes, and like it was, it was bone chilling, I think that's the word I need. Would you be able to maybe able to tell us a bit about the experience of actually playing Beatles game up on the roo rooftop concert? Yeah. So I guess that was the uh, that was up on the Standard Hotel in E3, the summer of 2009, and Paul and Ringo had actually showed up on stage at the show. That was amazing. We were there. We actually on the rooftop. We were playing with Danny Harrison, George Harrison's son, who was a big guitar hero and rock band. He was actually he helped, really the one who helped us get the ball rolling with the whole thing. So, yeah, being, being up on the rooftop, especially playing the rooftop song, rooftop console songs, and the game with Danny, I was like, I was like, I'll be the first moment. Hello, everyone. I'm Naomi, also known as Mary Pranksters on PlayStation 3. I've been playing rock band for about maybe four or five years now. Met a lot of great people in the game, outside of the game, and I've also diversified my music interests. Um, I mainly do expert vocals. I look forward to a Rock Band 4 or something similar in the future. Rock Band. Rock Band will always have a special place in my heart because uh, it's it's one of those games where uh, it really brings people together. Uh, people that don't normally play games, people that uh, are a little bit uh, shy to get you know get together and sing songs and do stuff like that. Uh, at the time, my favorite rhythm music games were Guitar Hero, Karaoke Revolution, and Donkey Konga for the GameCube. And of course, uh, Rock Band is is almost like a combination of all three and improves on each facet of it. So it was, it was kind of a no-brainer that I would be purchasing this game. I knew from the moment it was announced that I would be heavily invested in this game. Uh, in fact, uh, the first rock band was announced during my honeymoon. Uh, and then the following year on my birthday, Rock Band 2 was released. So this game has always been there. Uh, it's always been a part of my life uh, ever since you know it, it was first announced. Uh, and I don't see that ever changing. I think it'll always be there. Uh, regardless of you know what systems eventually come out or what changes later on, I think there's always going to be Rock Band. Uh, I will never have invested more money in any other gaming franchise other than Rock Band. I spent more money on this game than uh, any gaming-related thing uh, in my 35 years of being alive. <laughs> Uh, so I, I've invested a lot of time, a lot of money, but it was all worth it because you know the the feeling you get from you know, hanging out with friends and having such a great time uh, is it's totally worth it. Uh, I mean, I've I've spent so much, I have so many memories of, of playing rock band, and having such a great time. Uh, I had the police called on me because we were jamming out in my apartment way too loud. Uh, it was like three in the morning, and we're just you know rocking out, playing drums, and uh, our neighbor just had enough of it uh, several times. Uh, but uh, that didn't stop us.
There was even a local rock band tournament uh, here in Austin, Texas, uh, during the the high point of the uh, the music rhythm uh, genre craziness. Uh, it was Rock Band 2 right before that was released, or I think it was right when it was released. Can't remember. But anyway, there was a uh, tournament, and uh, two of my buddies and myself, uh, we won that tournament. We won 500 bucks, and it was it was nice. I never thought that I would win money for playing a game and just doing what I would do anyway. So it was, uh, it's just a great experience. So many great experiences, so many great memories from playing Rock Band uh, with friends and family, and just, uh, it was just, it's just always been a great game uh, for my life and just for everybody around me. It's just enriched everything. I think if you were to get all the world leaders together, put them in a room for eight to 10 hours, force them to play Rock Band, they would emerge from the room and the world would be a better place for it. Uh, and the world would thank you, Harmonix. Uh, but, uh, but I just wanna thank you personally because this game is, has been the game that uh, I I feel that I've been waiting for. I always you know jump to different games. I always uh, you know play one game for a year or two and then uh, another game. But I always come back to to Rock Band. I always come back to it. It's always going to be there in my life. So thank you. It's really truly amazing. I never thought it'd be this far, and especially with a community community like this who supports my back. Um, you know you have these people in this Rock Band group who are getting. X plats and ridiculous things, and you know I'd post my little puny painkiller gold star run, but they were happy for me uh, because it was an achievement for me, and I think they could relate to when they got like a really big achievement for the first time, and that's what just makes the rock band community so great, and why I think rock band should continue. It should be ported to the next gen consoles. It's really fun, and I don't know. There's something about Rock Band that kept me playing. I mean, I'm 15 now and I've been playing it for almost 10 years. Or rhythm games for 10 years and my love for it has never died. Like, I play it casually, I don't really play it that much. As, like, sit down and play it all day. But it's still a really fun game to me and a game that I will always enjoy. And also, would you be able to tell us maybe a bit about the charity work that Harmonix does? You have the children from like the Starlight Foundations come in and look around the studios and say about the game development and so on? We, we try to be as involved as possible with local organizations. Uh, those come up one, one and offs. Um, we don't have like a lot of built-in relationships amongst them, but we're always open to those folks coming in and seeing what we do. We also try to do a lot with Child's Play Charity. We worked with them through Penny Arcade a lot over the years. Donated things uh, for their auctions. Like we, we donated our um, old, old, <laughs> disgusting microwave and had everyone at the company sign it. It was like an old, like 20 year old microwave, and they thought that would be funny. We, we uh, gave that to them to auction off and it went for a couple thousand dollars. Um, we're all, we're, we try to do as much as possible. Like, and that, that's always a really gratifying part of the job, too. Like, we you know, donate. Um, Sometimes we've donated bundles or sometimes just codes for DLC to places like Operation Supply Drop, which basically gives our troops around the world something fun to do in all of their off time, which is most of their times, you know, when they're not out working, they're in their barracks with not much else to do. So that's been really gratifying too, just for them to send us pictures like just like smiling and having fun when they're in kind of a dangerous situation. So we've also done a bunch of stuff with the Able Gamers Foundation, which is an organization that basically is trying to serve the needs of uh, people with disabilities uh, through gaming, and that's an organization we've been, you know, we've loved and been really supportive of over the years also. Yeah. Yep. What is up guys, as many of you know, me, Chris, Ty, and Kyle have full band FC homecoming, first ever, because drums is near impossible, but Chris ends up doing the impossible every single time I play with him, or just every day, basically, he's a beast drummer, um, everyone else was beast, 
Uh, it was funny because that Saturday, I think it was, yeah, Saturday, Chris, like, 8 in the morning or something, posted in one of the Facebook groups on, one of the rock band Facebook groups, he was like, I'm looking for a lineup or a group of people who are interested in doing homecoming for band FC with me, and I was like, sure, why not, it's Green Day. But then again, as soon as I told him that, I was like, oh great, a 10 minute song. Started out, we got to the rolls like four times in a row or something ridiculous like that. I think Chris had like a minus three or two on the very first run. It was so stupid how close we were getting to this. I, just, I was just laughing the whole time because we were getting so darn close. When Billy Joe says G's after the rolls, your heart just keeps going and going and going. There's no stopping. Like, it's ridiculous the amount of adrenaline you get. It's just dumb. I was just sitting there, and my heart... I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Because the drum kicks kick in. And then the guitar strums. And then, like, you're like, oh my god, this is it. No chokes now. And he ended up choking. We all fell out. And we just sit there shaking. Every single one of us. It's ridiculous. And then after a while, my, my adrenaline was so bad, I kept missing because I couldn't, I couldn't control it, couldn't control my adrenaline. So, calm down, and a few runs later, we have to see it. What's going on everybody? My name is David McClam. I'm on all over the world as Cena from Cena's Corner on YouTube, where I have basically... Uh, review just about everything there is to review about the game of a rock band. To me, rock band was more than just a game. I think it did different things on different avenues that even the creators, harmonics, was not even expecting it to do. The one thing it did is it made entrepreneurs out of people. When the first rock band came out and the drum pedals were so bad, you know, we saw people make pedals, the destroyer pedal, the rock pedal, and then it just kept going from there. You know, good with my drums, you name it, it came out. Also, what it did is it connected people all over the world, I think, in a better way than any game I've ever seen to this day. Because of Rock Band, I do have friends that's all over this globe. You name it, France, UK, Australia, Japan, people that I would have never met before uh, if it was not for this game. Um, now, with Rock Band 4... Get ready to come back out. I don't know if it ever go back to the same way that it was, but there is still a lot of people out there right now that played the game for the last five, six years that's going to be back. So I'm looking for a resurgence of the Rock Band community, which was a very strong one. Um, rock Band will always be a part of my life. It will always be engraved. I think in many others. Um, I think it's one of the games that was played probably the most hours. If you just go through YouTube and pick any instrument you want, whether it's singing or drums or bass or guitar, you're going to find hundreds and thousands of gameplay hours. The number of what we call full combos, which is somebody that could actually play that particular part without missing a note at all, uh, is astronomical. But the most thing, the biggest thing to me that really stood out is the number of real musicians that we have gotten out of this game. There's a number of guitar players now that never played guitar in their life that is now playing guitar due to rock band. A number of drummers, a number of singers, people that didn't know that they had music within them, this game brought out. So, uh, I'm looking for what's gonna happen in the future. I think it's one of the best games out there. It's one of the best music games that's out there. It's not the only one and it never was. You know, Guitar Hero was first, which Harmonix owned that first before they sold it to Activision. But it is the best one because it has the biggest song collection and Harmonix has never been afraid to put any song in there and let you know this is a platform. So we're going to have all kinds of different genres where other games just solely concentrate on metal or rock because that's what makes everybody happy. Rock Band and Harmonix is focused on making a whole group of people happy. So what, Bruno Mars may not be for you, and you know, rock, heavy metal rock 
you know, may not be for this other person, but there is something in the game for everyone. So guys, uh, I look forward to the future. I hope you guys will join in and play Rock Band 4. If you can get your hands on it and you never played it before, go out there and find you a copy of Rock Band 3 at least. I know it's still out there. I'm grateful to be a part of this and uh, I look forward to see what's gonna happen. And um, for anyone who um, has an interest in the music industry or working within a games company, do you have any advice of what they should be doing to actually get to their goal? From your experience? So the, the crazy thing is, probably everybody you talk to at this company has a different story of the path that led us here. It's actually interesting now, I don't know how it is down in Australia, but now there are actual degree programs in college that you can do, to do that are specific to game development, which is amazing. Um, I think both Alex and I did not even have that as an option. Um, but it really, yeah, exactly. Northeastern University has a game design major here in Boston. So I'd say that's the first easiest thing, because it's like tailor-made for you to, to get into the industry. But I think the other thing is that you have to have a passion for what you're doing. Because it's not like anything that you just do because it's fun. Like, the important thing is thinking about what you actually want to do. Um, like coding is a very specific thing that's very different from our art, animation, Right, so, so to that point, I would say the most important thing is just be awesome at something. Just be an awesome person, you know? Like we, as an example, Daniel Sussman, right? So this is a guy who came into the company in QA and doing you know, game test, an entry-level job in the company, and over time, just like year after year, he was just awesome at what he did. And, he, and by a few years later, he had escalated to the point that he was actually the project lead on Rock Band 3. So that's just like an example of like a meteoric ascent in, in game development that didn't come from him having even, uh, you know, a game design degree or being a great coder or being a good artist or whatever. It was just being a, like, a cape, like a really hard working capable person who was like devoting himself to the craft and actually doing himself to it. So there's no like one size fits all answer to that question. It's just like be an awesome person and devote yourself to it and you'll, you'll find a way out. Yeah. So the Rock Band forums have been pretty important also, we have lots of people becoming friends for life and through the game also. Um, is this the goal for Harmonix or is, does it go deeper? I mean that's the special thing about Rock Band is that unlike a lot of other games it's a social experience and I, it, it's been really amazing seeing those relationships happen over the years. People got married and proposed through the game. I know, it's a really yeah. that it, actually many people have met and ended up getting married and like meeting through playing rock band. In fact, I got invited once to attend a wedding party from a couple basically who had like met in the rock band. And so there's like a lot of crazy stories like that that are like super heartwarming for us actually. Which is, look, as I said way back in the beginning about a big part of what motivates us to get into the guitar the rock band was that there's something about music that yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> there's even some science behind it. I don't know if you saw the, there was a paper that came out a couple months ago that found, like, empirically that playing rock band with people increases your levels of empathy, which is pretty amazing. I mean, we all felt it when playing it, but to see it in the scientific performance is kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the social aspect of the game what sets it apart and what makes me love working on it. Uh, part of my job is, you know, I get to actually go around the world playing it. I mean, shows and different events. And that's really gratifying. It's really fun. And everyone just, just, they don't bring any baggage with them. They just want to play the music. And, and it's just, it's a super fun thing. Yep. And um, you also, come is quite known for their April Fool's pranks. <laughs> um, so you had like the rock band board game and just recent, recently Romance Central. Um, how do you think rock, rock band the board game would have actually sold if it was <laughs> actually real? Well, yeah, I guess we're gonna do it and find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, we should, we should that day. 
Yeah. Would you contribute if we made it into a Kickstarter? Well, uh, I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh. And overdrive! Tilt to the ploy! Rocket Board Game, available now for only $179.99. Please allow six to eight weeks for delivery for all add-on song packs and pro upgrades. Rock Band board games should not be played while intoxicated. Stage kit compatibility to be determined. Do you have any final words you'd like to say to possibly all the millions, maybe even more, of the fans of Rock Band? Um, for me, just thank you. I mean, in particular, like, the fans Hi, my name is Will, I'm from Australia and I'm the producer of the Rock Band documentary. For me, Rock Band, um, before it, I hadn't experienced anything like it. Um, before Rock Band, I was not interested in music at all. I hardly listened to any music. Didn't, if you asked me the name of band, you'd be lucky to get an answer out of me. But um, from Rock Band, I learned um, so many amazing bands through the game. Um, I've had so many great experiences playing the game. Um, back when like Rock Band 1, Rock Band 2, my mate would come, he'd come over to my place and we'd basically be playing Guitar Hero or Rock Band. It was a bit of a battle. I was a Rock Band guy. He was a Guitar Hero guy more. But um, for me, Rock Band took the cake um, and basically we would play until our hands would take no more back in, back in those days. Um, it's an amazing experience and I met so many amazing people through the game. Um, it's just a great community to be a part of and I've met so many people around the world. Um, I remember playing with my mate. Um, we'd play like green green grasses and high tides back on Rock Band 1 and try and play that on Expert and just an amazing song to play and trying to play like Through the Fire and the Flames on Guitar Hero. Um, it's just an amazing experience. We, we only got no further than like 4% or something but we like to keep on trying. It was good fun. But for me, rock band, um, it's all about rock band for me. I um, was a few years ago, uh, about three or four, I was looking to start a YouTube channel and I wasn't sure what to do it on. And it didn't take me long to figure out what I'd do it on and the answer was straight away was rock band. And um, that's how we got to this documentary, I guess, a few years later um, with the absence of rock band after rock band three a little bit. I wanted to do something to try and capture the experience of what rock band has meant to people all around the world. And now we get look forward to rock band four, which is um, good. So I would just like to thank you all for watching and everyone who took part. And um, I guess look forward to rock band four. If you um, have a story to share about your experience with rock band, make sure to leave it below. And um, thanks for watching, and uh, I guess just keep on rocking. And until next time, see you later.